Before I started building my own scooter, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, and for some reason, all of the people who build electric scooters with their own hands do it absolutely tastelessly. I decided to go the other way, and I got this. Some part I took from the hover bar, like this metal thing. The wire from the wheel goes inside the one-way fork. The brake line also goes inside. It all goes in different directions and goes to the deck part goes through the steering column. Here is the brake handles with sensors and in this place will be the throttle trigger. The whole top part is taken from the mountain bike. The steering column with the folding mechanism I use from a 9 bar G30 Max and this is how it folds and this is how it looks. There is no wire coming out of the rear wheel because it goes inside the deck directly to the controllers that will be installed at the back. The tire is also used from the hover bar, but I want to install another one with a 2.5 width. The brake disc is from the bike and it's 140mm wide. Uh, it's mounted through the aluminum spacer. The paper is from the Kyuga scooter to be mounted on the right side. The front wheel, the same thing is done, but the caliper is from the bicycle to, to fit on the left. Here is how I made this asymmetric electric scooter. The length is 1 and 2 meters and the height is the same. The handlebar height is 1 meter. Paint it in the Audi or the grey color. The brake cable also goes into the deck. There is nothing on the outside of the skier. There is also a hole under the fender for the brake light wire. The battery will be located here and in this place will be the controllers for the front and real motor wheels. The deck cover is a little bit wider than the frame, it's done for the better waterproofing. There will be a charging port right here and there will be a foot uh, here so you can put it up to stand. This is all technical points, so if you have any questions ask them, in the next part we'll talk about the electrics.